This tutorial is going to be over our Spline Biome PCG system. So the first thing you want to do is install our plugin. So let's copy and paste this and paste it into our plugins folder in our Unreal project. Now we want to go to plugins, type in PCG and ensure all three are enabled. So the first thing we'll do is grab BP Spline Bio and we'll want to drag this over the areas we want meshes to spawn. Now we'll drag in BP PCG Holder and as you can see, our low poly meshes have now spawned in to the area we've defined. So we have a path in this project and we don't want meshes to be spawning here. So let's drag over BP Path Cut and we'll start drawing out with the spline where we want the area to be removed. To create more points on the spline, you simply have to hold Alt while dragging the moving tool. And then let's just increase the height on these as well, just so no trees are spawning. And let's head back over to our holder, go to PCG, click clean up and generate. And as you can see, the path cut has now got rid of the meshes where we didn't want them. As well as this, we have a building and an area of focus, and we don't want meshes to spawn here as it's going to ruin the aesthetic of the scene. So exactly the same as we've just done, we'll drag a new path cut in, and we'll just define this area where we want the meshes to be removed. Once again, we'll just go to our holder, PCG, clean up and generate. So now we've got a biome in place. Let's begin by customizing the subtraction. So as you can see, we have an on or off button. So what this does is it either keeps certain meshes in the zones we've defined where we want to get rid of, or you can also reduce the ranges of the subtraction. So for example, if you're using this tool to cut out a path, you could make the path bigger or smaller. But let's put this back on the default value. So before we do any more changes, let's start swapping out our low poly meshes for our high poly ones. The reason we want to do this is we don't want the, the scales to be adjusted with the low poly meshes when the scales of the high poly ones might be completely different. So as you can see already on the default setting, the scene is coming to life. does look like a few of the meshes are spawning on our path there. So we might want to just go and adjust the radius of the subtraction. And I think the grass might need a, the density adjusting. And the same for the trees as well. We also have tree bounds. And what this does is it either increases the density or reduces the density. So you kind of have to imagine a Boolean around each tree. And these settings here will delete other trees that are too close from the tree. So having really low settings here will create a lot more density. Having really high settings will make your, your tree sparser. Mm. 
So now let's go and fix that debris. So it's currently spawning on the path, so let's increase these values to slowly remove it from our path. And there we go. So we have no debris spawning on our path anymore. And this is the aesthetic we are going for in the scene. We also have decals in the system. So let's stick this on a higher value. And once the PCG system regenerates, we should see some decal spawning. These decals bit can be moved, scaled, deleted, or adjusted uh, in the editor. One thing to note is, if you do regenerate the system or change any settings, then the decal movements you've made will be changed. So as you can see, we've got lots of decals here now, and it might be a bit overkill, but this is just showing how they do spawn. The density of these decals, as we don't need this many in our scene. I think that's a bit more manageable for this project. It will just break up the repetition of the tiling in our landscape material. So the next part of the tutorial is how to create more than one biome. So simply drag in your BP spline biome again. And just position this where you want your meshes to spawn. So this currently just uses the particular biome in question. So we have the forest in the other part of the scene using the PCG holder. And what this will do is connect to that and it will spawn all of the meshes we've just done into this section of the environment. And once again, you just hold Alt to create new spline points and you can move it around with the gizmo. And then we'll head back to our PCG holder, clean up, generate, and our system we made earlier will now spawn into the new spline biome. And there we go. And that's it for this system. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next part.